conflict and war. Sieges. Persecution, religious ethnic strife. Natural disasters. Ongoing insecurity. They are the nation of the displaced, forced from their homes. At the end of 2013, they were 51.2 million, the highest number in the post-World War II era. If they were a country, it would be the 26th largest in the world. David in Ethiopia, Mahmoud in Egypt, Abdullah in Jordan, Monica in South Sudan. In 2013, each day on average, every day, 32,200 people were forced to flee, 11,000 more per day than the year before. 18,000 more than in 2011. If uh, we have, for the first time since the Second World War, more than 50 million people displaced by war or by persecution, uh, it's uh, uh, because we are witnessing a multiplication of new conflicts in the world. And the global conflict generates global displacement. Uh, and at the same time, uh, uh, old conflicts seem never to die. The drama of Syria, the largest one-year refugee exodus from any country since the Rwanda genocide 20 years ago. By the end of 2013, refugees from the Syrian conflict totaled 2.5 million. Now they number nearly 3 million. There were also Syrian conflicts in Central African Republic, South Sudan, sending rivers of refugees into neighboring countries. Cameroon, Chad, Ethiopia. And across continents, old, unending conflicts go on. Last year, we had a mega crisis, Syria, uh, with a dramatic humanitarian impact. Uh, millions of people displaced inside the country or fleeing the country to the neighboring countries. Uh, the physical destruction of, of Syria. But at the same time, we had Mali, uh, Central African Republic, South Sudan. 50% of refugees are children, the highest percentage in a decade. Displacement is brutal. Many children stumble into exile barely alive after weeks in the bush. Some, like Ibrahim Musa, slashed by machete-wielding rebels in Central African Republic, have dreadful injuries. Others, like 12-year-old Hala, must take care of their siblings their parents missing or dead. Millions of refugees in exile, but many millions more caught in conflict inside their countries. 33.3 million people are internally displaced. In Syria alone, the number is 6.5 million, almost a third of the country. Well, the solution is political. Uh, there is only one way to stop displacement is to stop conflict. It's to find peace. And that, it will, that capacity is uh, what it is lacking in today's world. But uh, uh, in between, people suffer. Desperation breeds desperate measures. Desert crossing, flight by boat, anything to escape. Close to 1.1 million individual asylum applications were registered with governments or UNHCR in 2013. The highest in a decade. But just 414,600 refugees returned home in 2013. And fewer than 100,000 refugees were resettled permanently in new countries. The tide of misery rises. To stop the flow requires political will. To reverse it requires care, commitment, and leadership. Across the globe, the nation of the displaced is growing. 